Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Park Rovers and we're at Busch Gardens Williamsburg for Mardi Gras. It is 39 <laughs> degrees outside, so it's freezing here. There weren't a lot of cars in the parking lot that I saw, so I think maybe the crowds are filtering in later in the day, but I think probably the cold is keeping a lot of guests away. I think some rides aren't operating because it's below the 45 degrees. Today we bought a sampler card, so we got a 10 sample card. <laughs> there was a free item, but the kiosk, for whatever reason, wouldn't print it for me. I can come back and get that. I talked to the guest services, was very nice here, and <laughs> explained that sometimes the machines just don't print. So that might happen to you, and uh, not a big deal. We're hopefully meeting up with Dustin from Park Rovers today, who's driving down from Maryland, so we're excited to see him. And just as always, Busch Gardens is decked out for Mardi Gras. So this is, this is what you see when you enter from England. Really cool. And the flags overhead are in Mardi Gras colors in England. We're not gonna do this, but there is a Mardi Gras scavenger hunt. So that's an additional thing you can check out. We'll grab a piece of paper. This paper is a little damp, but uh, has six different things to find. I know where the DJ is. That's right outside of the Fest House. I haven't seen them advertising the tours before, but they do have the Elite VIP tour that looks, looks pretty awesome, to be honest. They take you throughout the park. I know about the Howl to Exist tour um, and the Roller Coaster Insider tour and uh, we'll be doing reserve show seating later. All right, let's go check out and see what we can find in the Emporium. Maybe there's some new stuff in there. I think this is where, if you get caught shoplifting, you end up in these things. And there's a Mardi Gras display right out front. Where have you been, yay? All my life. And I found the baby. Oh, they got a shirt. So this is all kind of generic Mardi Gras stuff. Out front, nothing. That says Bush Gardens. They are SeaWorld shirts though. You can see the SeaWorld tag right there. Pantheon merch is still here. Potentially reloaded. I don't know if I've seen, I don't know if I saw this stuff last time. But. It's not new, it's just refreshed. Oh, this, this Big Bad Wolf hoodie is pretty cool. $45.99. Remember that Platinum Pass members save 50% off merch. And they have a Henley long sleeve. This is $29.99. Here's the Pantheon pin. They got the same style for all of the coasters here. And these are eleven ninety nine. Oh, they got the train too. Cool. And the scoop. Here's a lightweight hoodie I found at Bush Gardens Tampa that now has made its way to Williamsburg. This guy is $55. Again, I didn't pay that because I'm a Platinum Pass member, so I got 50% off. So that's about it. Nothing too crazy in the store. It was cool to see the Big Bad Wolf merch, though. I haven't seen... Maybe they just moved it. I don't know. It's just cool to see it on display right up front. Here's the Globe Theater, and this is where the only show is during Mardi Gras. It's new. It's called Carnival Imaginique. We have the 530 reserved seating. I don't think I can record anything, but it is great to have an indoor show during the winter. It's so cold here. Also in England, Squire's Grill is open again. So this is where you can actually get an impossible burger. So vegan and plant-based items are kind of hard to find, but right here at Squire's, they, get, they can hook you up with that impossible. And of course, Big Ben, the clock tower is decked out in Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras colors. So here's the festival layout here. We uh, just explored 
England, and that's where, of course, the Carnival Imaginique is. The Skylark Skyride is usually operating. I think it is closed due to weather today, um, but there is Sesame Street Forest of Fun and uh, Italy down there. The bridge is has <laughs> disappeared from Italy. It is actually closed, uh, so you can't get across to Germany right now. But uh, in Italy, Apollo's is normally running, uh, but it is, again, too cold for that. But there are some flat rides. And then uh, Scotland, of course, with the Highland Stables. Ireland has the Killarney Village Band and uh, Grogan's Pub and Grogan's Grill are not on the map, but they are operating. And then in France, that's where the Skyride Sky has a stop, but again, not operating right now. Uh, Trappers, Trapper Dave's, Three River Snacks, and then you have Germany, the Land of Dragons, of course, another kids area. And uh, this is kind of what I'm excited about is going back to the Das Festhaus, where you have the New Orleans jazz band inside and the Marty Party DJ outside. So overall, um, kind of a limited offering here, but this is, this is really good if you're a local or a, you know, a past member that can easily get here. Uh, this, is a, this is a really good event. And it looks like the European barn owl is outside. Cool, so this is Clover, the European barn owl. She's 10 years old and very vocal. <laughs> Oh. Uh, so that was pretty cool seeing the barn owl right outside. And now we're going to make a stop to see my favorite animals at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. And of course that is at the Highland Stables where you can see the Clydesdales. Let's check it out. We're gonna walk right into the stables here. Ah, Dustin's here. Hopefully we'll be seeing the other Dustin later, but here is Dustin the Clansdale. Looking outside. And Dakota, right next to Dustin. There's a little information about the Clydesdale. The Clydesdale breed originated from an area in Scotland known as Clydesdale. So there you go. Mature adult Clydesdales on average weigh 1,800 pounds and stand about 18 hands in height. Wow. And here's, here's what I think Dustin was looking out on. There's a Clydesdale getting uh, groomed back there. I can't zoom in any further though. Here we go to my favorite, maybe second favorite Hamlet at Bush Gardens, and it is Killarney. And uh, I love a good pun. Happy Killarney Gras. I love it. Can't wait to see this if I make it for St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and there's a rainbow. I don't know if you can see this on the video. Oh, maybe you can. Oh, that's really cool. A rainbow. I wonder if there's a pot of gold right there. Rainbow right by Killarney, Ireland. Okay, so inside Killarney, there are two different locations for Mardi Gras food, that is. And uh, this is Grogan's Grill right beside Grogan's Pub, which is over there. Okay, so I know the shrimp po' boy is advertised as a fan favorite um, but the shrimp etouffee is a new item and the fried okra are a new item and there's also that grasshopper cocktail so I don't know we're kind of go, gonna go with our heart here maybe those Cajun hush puppies look good too okay I've made it quite a dent in my sampler card I got the fried okra which is I think served with like a, a mustard maybe the uh, Cajun hush puppies is what I went with, and yeah, I think those are just served with a remoulade. 
and uh, the shrimp etouffee. So that's a new item, but this is the grasshopper. So it's like mint, minty rum, I guess. If you like mint, uh, like a uh, mint chocolate, you'll kind of like this. All right, we're gonna try some of this okra. All right, I will say this is uh, perfectly fried. No complaints on the okra. And now let's go for a Cajun hush puppy. Dip it right in. It's kind of burnt, but not in a bad way on the outside. Very crispy. You can probably hear that on the mic. Now I got my fork and I'm ready for the etouffee. Kind of a, a hint of spice, but not too, but not too spicy at all. You can see bits of tomato in there as well. We're off to a good start. We've uh, done four out of 10 of our food items and uh, we are at the first real hamlet with food. So um, I'm feeling good about that. Sometimes, you know, in past vlogs, I haven't been able to do all of the items that I paid for and I've had to give out my sampler card, which is fine. Uh, but I think I'm maintaining a good pace here. So um, looking forward to the rest of the day. And now we're inside Grogan's pub. This is where they have probably the second best selection of beers compared to the craft beer room in Das Fest House. And they also have a king cake shot, which I'm interested in. All right, we are back with Dustin and family. We found them. Are you in frame? Cool. And we got king cake shots, which count toward the sampler card. They are on the sampler. Which is, I didn't know that. It's not even on the menu as a, a sampler item. So this is a surprise. Uh, so I guess cheers. 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 <laughs> All right, hold on. We gotta review the shot. All right, what's what do you think of the shot? I liked it. Yeah. It's like it's the stuff that I like. And I'm I still like the rim too. Yeah, I'm still like digging into the rim. Is yeah. it it's sweet? It's like frosting and I know, Baba. <laughs> Uh, frosting and like sanding sugar. What'd you get, Dustin? It's a French 75, so it's a lemony drink. Yeah. Um, couldn't tell you exactly what's in it, but it's delicious. Yeah. And then oh, the, and I got a hurricane too. Oh, the hurricane. This is uh, yeah. Is this new, this is new? Or they did do this every year, right? The hurricane. Uh, I mean, the hurricane's a, a New Orleans staple. Yeah. So I'm sure. But I they think do yeah, it. during Mardi Gras every year. Yeah, every year. I, I, this is year two of I mean, it's a pretty good sample too. That's oh, a, it is. It's a good size. I don't think I'd want more than that. So uh, not, not when you're sampling Europe. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's a perfect hurricane. Perfect, a perfect hurricane. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, this is interesting. I thought the Killarney Show Band would be out here, but instead, they're in the Abbey Stone Theater. So that's really cool. So uh, it's very cold outside. So it's good that the. Killarney Village Band is indoors. Showtime's today. 12.30, 1.30, 3.15, 4.15, 5.30. Still uh, 39 degrees, so the fires are out. Is official weather right now? 39. Uh, I have 40. You have 40? I have 40. It's warmer on your phone. That, maybe, maybe your maybe. thermometer's in the sun. Maybe. 40 degrees. Let's, okay. let's open for Bolton. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, now we're in Wolf Valley, and you can actually see the wolves today. So Nolly is the darker colored one, and Kaya is the lighter colored one. Kaya is nine years old, and Nolly is a year and a half. I haven't seen so the Kaya's wolves out in a while. Senior lady, and Denali is your typical so teenage boy. Times during the summer. Oh, in the summer, yeah. So Denali is just like starting to think that he is the alpha. And Kai has been the alpha. I think it's too cold for the lorikeets, but a black vulture is out today. Check it out. Right up there. Cora gypis atratus. This is Attila. Attila the black vulture. Black vultures are members of the New World Vulture Group. They eat 20 times the amount of bacteria that would kill a human. 
yet remain healthy. Wow, didn't know that. It's cool they're using the uh, aviary in the off season. It's also cool to see the carriage out in Mardi Gras colors. I'm kind of thinking to myself, how, <laughs> how do they change this from event to event? Because it actually does look like that's painted. Huh. Now I gotta catch up to Dustin and family as we're headed into France. And now we've made it into France and I see some street performers out here. So let's check it out. Here we go. Oh man. One of them is taller than me. Hello. Yeah. Wow. I rarely see someone taller than me. <laughs> Right outside Griffin is Cafe Lulu, and that's where you can get beignets. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. They also have some other items. So you can actually get jambalaya here, which I believe is a new item. I don't know how that's possible, but it is a new item this year at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And they also have the Cajun sausage and grits, as well as those beignets and draft beer and wine. Look, they put a drum in the window here. See, it's the, it's the jazz band. Yeah, the jazz band. This is pretty funny. They've covered all of the lights with uh, Mardi Gras colors. Even the area that you can't go to because we're blocked off here. There are uh, benches blocking us from Griffin, but you can see they've even themed part of the walkway down that way. Interesting. Um, but you can see Griffin, I think they're still wrapping up its paint job so you can see some cranes out oh wow there's even <laughs> there's even some light posts that are themed down there i mean i guess when the lights turn on it does change the color of the the lamp post interesting well i'm still full from coke Rogan's grill but we are with dustin and gina and they've got what'd you get this is the blake's uh saint cherry hard cider blank's cherry hard, si hard yes. cider I last had Blake's, I think, at Epcot it's in Morocco. Bourbon barrel aged, dark cherry cider. Wow, cider's come a long way. It's delicious. <laughs> right. And here are the beignets. We'll zoom in on these. I had these last year for sure. How are the beignets? Is it good? They look really well cooked this year. Last year they were a little... At food and wine, they were Russian the beignets at. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty popular. Here they look very yeah they, they have to be puffed up i remember i was see, i was i was sitting like right by griffin back there mm -hmm. and uh one of the beignets like wasn't puffed up so yeah we had a doughy beignet um yeah these are these are delicious very very much new orleans and they're still like, hot mm. yes still hot which one did we go to new orleans these are like cafe beignets yeah they were because they came out hot yeah yeah, these look good. I might come back for these, but I'll trust your review. There's more beignets that way. <laughs> oh, there's there's multiple well, stations. Yes. I've already decided I'm going to have them again. <laughs> Here's something that's pretty cool. They have a photo opportunity right by Griffin. If only Griffin <laughs> was running, you could get a shot with the coaster right in the back. Uh, but still, pretty cool photo op for Mardi Gras 2022 here. And let's take a closer look at Griffin. So if you walk up, you can kind of see the progress of the paint. You can see also the water drained down below. And uh, so you can see it's kind of like a little, a bit darker. And over by Griffin, the New France Expeditions monster trucks are operating. So you can drive one of these and kind of crash it into the other trucks. Whew. So catching up here, we've uh, made it through England, Scotland, Ireland, and through France, and now we're about to enter New France. Well, now I found Trapper's Show Grill, and Trapper's Show Grill has a crawfish boil. The crawfish boil is new for 2022, as is the blackened chicken they also have the, the shrimp po' boy here. 
So a few of the items are available at multiple locations, so that's kind of cool. Um, they have the Mardi Gras corn, I think I got that last year. And uh, they have a new cocktail called the Fat Tuesday Rum Runner. All right, we are seated right by Invader, and we've got some couple, a couple of items from Trapper Showgrill. And we have, this is new, this is for 2022. This is the crawfish boil. So you have a potato, the crawfish, and the corn. And this is the rum runner. I will note, they put a lot of ice in here. So maybe not the greatest value, but let's give it a try. Okay, you know, kind of a, a beachy <laughs> rum cocktail here when it's 39 degrees. Um, really takes me to the Bahamas. And the, the crawfish boil kind of hard to eat with one hand, so <laughs> I'll let you know how it is. So I'm pretty happy with the crawfish. Um, a lot of, I guess, Old Bay they put on, and even on the potato here. Here's one of the few operating rides in the cold weather. It's the Le Catapult here in New France, AKA the Scrambler. You see it doing its scrambling. It's pretty fast. I'm sure it feels great to be scrambled on a 39 degree day here in Williamsburg. Invader, it's closed today. Uh, usually one of the rides that operates in the off season, but not uh, operating for this event. And I think I've pointed this out before on previous vlogs, but I do like the fact you can get Canadian beer here in New France. So they have Labatt and Molson right here at Arcadia Traders. Oh, an m, &M guy. <laughs> Just hanging out here at the art gallery. See some art being painted right now through the window. Now we're going on the bridge to Germany. You can see Alpengeist and Le Scoot. Le Scoot obviously completely drained for the off season. It's funny to me that Alpengeist doesn't operate in the winter. I mean, it's got a winter skiing theme and it's the Winter Olympics right now in Beijing. So you would think that maybe there was a chance, but I guess they need the time to refurbish Alpengeist for the season. Bob Sled Rental is out to lunch. It's 2.41, that's a late lunch. Last year I saw the drummers right here. I have not seen them yet. So let's keep going to Germany and uh, we'll see if we can catch them. See more theming in the centerpiece here. Ah, uh, yes, it's nice and warm in here. And my Nutcracker is still here. He was not sold yet. This is the Nutcracker that is $4,999.99. It's a pretty big guy. He's five, I'm six, six, and he's, I don't know, five feet something. It's pretty tall. Well, this shop might be my favorite place to warm up. And I see they have a lot of Christmas town stuff too, or at least these ornaments are still available. Oh, and those, the lights. Yeah, the, I remember those from our visit to Christmas town. So they have a whole Christmas section here in this shop in Germany. They have some Guy Harvey stuff, so you can get 
Guy Harvey's underwater world. Guy Harvey will make appearances at Bush Gardens and SeaWorld parks and autograph items for you. I don't think he's here this weekend, but you can definitely get some of his art if that's your thing. Very colorful, vibrant pieces from Guy. Ah, so this is where the Samba Jamboree. So last year the Samba Jamboree was kind of wandering and now they've set up shop right here in Germany. If you remember from Christmas Town, they had a, a Frosty and Gingy kind of meeting over there. Um, so now they're using this area as kind of a stage for the Samba Jam Jamboree. And right near the Samba Jamboree is Das Edelweiss, where you can get some tasty treats. So they have the Mardi Gras mini funnel cake, the banana foster cheesecake, which I think is, is new. You can get the beignets here as well. And the king cake cinnamon roll, I think is also new for 2022. And so I got the king cake cinnamon roll from Das Edelweiss. Looks pretty good. pretty good. I would have liked them to heat it up a little more, but other than that, you know, um, pretty good. I, I think I'd recommend the beignets instead of the king cake cinnamon roll, um, or maybe that funnel cake, but still not mad at the cinnamon roll, just could have been a little warmer. And now we are by the entrance to Oktoberfest, and I love these, I love these lights up above. This is pretty cool. This will look really good at night. And uh, we're gonna walk over toward Das Fest House. See Dark Castle over on the right here. Looking forward to the potential future. There are some rumors floating around about what may become of Dark Castle. So we're looking forward to seeing what may or may not happen here. Um, but over on the left is the, the Bayou Bar. This is where you can get a king cake daiquiri, a king's cup margarita, a fat Tuesday spiked lemonade, and a big easy mojito. Here in Oktoberfest, they have the Marty Party DJ above Das Fest House. Got one door open. So here is the foyer bar right out front in Das Fest House, and that's where you can get that Bloody Mary and a Magic Mimosa. They also have that King, Shake, King Cake Shot. That King Cake Shot is in multiple places, just like some of the other items. And you get some draft beer here, but I know a place in here where you can get really good draft beer. And that place is the Brow House Craft Beer Room, which is one of my favorite theme park bars anywhere. They've got the best selection, I think, of any park, at least in Virginia, probably the Mid-Atlantic. It's the Brow House. The Brow House literally has a wall of beer available to you from Belgian ales, wheat, stouts, ciders, sours, porters, IPAs, pale ales, lagers, and other ales. You see all those taps there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to let the good times run, and we hope you are too. We're here with demand is your New Orleans jazz band. I'm the Mardi Gras madam of this marching band, but they call me Miss JL. That's right, Miss JL, and you can ring that like a bell. That's it. Now what do y'all say? Five foot two? Five foot two. Aw, 
that was pretty cool in Das Fest House. We got to see the New Orleans jazz band. We actually recorded all 22 minutes, so I'll probably post that as a separate video if it turned out well. Uh, so look for that in the Park Rovers feed on YouTube. So if you want to catch the New Orleans jazz band inside Das Fest House, they have multiple show times a day, 1, 2.30, 3.45, and 5. We're here on a Saturday, so these times do vary. Bush Gardens Williamsburg always does an amazing job with theming. They made it all the way up there <laughs> to replace or add decorations in those planters at Dust Fest House. Here's some more attractions operating in the cold. We have D Autobahn and uh, D Junior Autobahn, which is a miniature version of bumper cars. This is kind of hilarious. They're so small. Here's the official sign. This attraction is closed due to cold temperatures. And I mentioned earlier, but the, the bridge is, the Italy bridge is closed. So this is, this is what it looks like now. Oh, wow. They're definitely doing a lot of repairs here on the bridge. You can see Pantheon right over there. That'll be opening pretty soon now, just over a month away for past member previews. It is good to see the mock tower operating today in the cold temps. So they are, op they are operating different attractions here that we haven't seen in a while. Here's D. Wind, the swings. Zoom right in. It is 4.30 and we've made it just in time for the Samba. We are back in Germany. And this is, there's a lot of screaming and anticipation <laughs> for the Samba. Wow, the Samba Jamboree might be my favorite part of Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, Mardi Gras. They are awesome. Uh, I like how it's kind of like impromptu and doesn't last that long. It's like only like 12 minutes. Anyway, so we got about 45 minutes left. What are you guys up to? We're, we're out of here. You're out, we're you're out. out, you're out. We're okay, out. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us, Dustin. We got lilies. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're cold and hungry, so. Oh, man. We're out. All right, well. I have one more stop. I have to see the show at 5.30. So yes. I'll be walking that way and probably grabbing some food along the way. Uh, using my three last punches potentially on my sampler card. I don't know. We'll see what we can run into. Okay, Cafe Lulu came through and we've finished our 10 item sampler card. We've got the beignets. These two out of three of these look good and two out of three ain't bad. And we also have the Aleworks Strawberry Blonde Ale and a uh, hard cider from Blake's. All right, and we are going to start with the cider. This is a 6.9% ABV from Blake's. This is St. Cherie. This is bourbon barrel-aged cherry. I really like this. Um, 3.88 rating on untapped. And uh, I think I'm gonna give it a 3.75. And this is the Strawberry Blonde Ale from Aleworks. It's called Shortcake. And it's a rich blonde ale with strawberries and milk sugar. Oh, yeah, I can definitely taste the strawberry. This is interesting. 
I really like Blondales. They uh, seem to be a little more adventurous than <laughs> a lot of beers you can find at theme parks. Aleworks doing a really good job here in Virginia. Now let's try the let's try the beignets. This one's perfectly puffed up with a. Uh, they put caramel on here. Oh boy. This is a good beignet. And this is the last, last food item I'm having here at Bush Gardens, so it's a good way to end it. I was actually going for the jambalaya, but they, they said they were making it and uh, they weren't sure if it was gonna be ready. So I went with beignets, I'm not sad about it, though I saw the jambalaya was like ready to go, so I was, uh, but not sad about beignets for sure. So with that, it's 5.10 and we gotta make our way to the show at 5.30 and then we're out of here. So sadly, we can't go see the Killarney Village Band at the Abbey Theater because we gotta make it to the Globe Theater for the 5.30 show of Carnival Imaginique. All right, we made it just in time for Carnival Imaginique and we're gonna take our seats soon. And it uh, looks like we won't have a problem finding a seat here but I'm really excited about the show so good news it looks like we can record the full show uh, they said I can record as long as I don't use flash so that's what I'm gonna do I'll probably post the full show as a separate video and insert some highlights here in the vlog the celebration begins now. Wow, I loved uh, Carnival Imaginique. That was a great show full of acrobats and, and it was just really, really awesome. So anyway, that's all we have from Busch Gardens Williamsburg for Mardi Gras. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, we will see you next time. Hopefully we'll be back at Busch Gardens for St. Patrick's Day. If not, we'll definitely be back for food and wine. So. We'll see you next time. Enjoy Mardi Gras 2022 and let the good times roll.